Ladies and gentlemen, the Open Tabs podcast has returned. I'm Calvin Swift with my main man, Joe Carlos. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like an 80s video. <laughs> it is. Party all the time. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Rick, Rick was on fire, standing up, telling everybody what to do. Indeed. Like what he said, like what he said temptation set. <laughs> he was telling them temptations what to do he was he was definitely in the day uh day rough and roll he was thursday it's thursday night and what can i tell you hey that's always an homage to dennis miller from 88 tonight huh. we'll, we'll say 91 to the go 88 to 91 it's saturday night and what can i tell you yeah yeah and then when you finish yeah. the test you say i am out of here Yep. In in the private school of my <laughs> best weekend update host. Best best weekend update host. Oh, easily. I I don't I never liked Che and um Yost or most or whatever his name is. Okay. Yost. I don't I'm not really a Che fan. I don't think he's as funny as he thinks he is. Joseph Carlos the third. I don't think he's as funny as he thinks he is, nearly. <laughs> and I'm not in on the joke. And maybe okay. that's just me. Maybe that's just forty-eight-year-old Joe. But and maybe there's things I'm just not into or whatever. Okay. But I just don't think he's nearly as funny as he thinks he is. I I, I don't I don't get it. Okay. So and I and I I want to be wrong. Like okay. I, I will go to to Peacock and watch specifically watch that specifically. But I want to be wrong. I'm usually not wrong about that. Uh, in my opinion, of course, okay. that's all that matters really with me. But we, we, we thought so some more McDonald man. I love Norm. I love I love Norm. Um, Tina Fey. <laughs> the exasperation more, is it for me. I'm more of the Jane Kurt and uh and uh and Danny Ecker. Okay. Old school. <laughs> Jane, you ignorant. Yeah, I can't finish that one. But no. but uh <laughs> I'm not going to finish that one. <laughs> Don't, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do a lot of singing tonight. I just want okay. you to know. Okay. Gonna, you look great, Cal. I, Thanks, I, man. For all, for the, I want the YouTube fan. Come on, YouTube followers. Come on. Get, get, you know, lean into this Calvin look. Get on your phone. Zoom in. Oh, lean boy. Into this look. Oh, boy. The salt, the salt <laughs> and pepper. The fresh line. Calvin's skin is immaculate. Oh, man. You know, I, I, I am going. He preserved his he moisturized the situation. Yeah. Preserved his safety. Yeah. He's got the base side. He's got that base side. Is that is that Slater or is that? Um, it's, it's absolutely that, the AC Slater. Number six. Okay, six. AC was six. You got to tuck it in to your jeans. Your <laughs> jeans. And say mama. And say mama all in. All oh, man. I, didn't, I couldn't tell what Slater was. I didn't know if he was uh, Mexican-American or Hawaiian. if he was Hawaiian or Samoan. Yeah. I, you know, I, yeah, I'm from Dallas. I, we, I didn't know what Samoan was until the Jets. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get Hawaiian in trouble on the Jets. West Coast, man. You got to be able to know. But guess don't, what? Don't I'm call no Dallas. tongue in Samoan. I'm from Dallas. <laughs> so 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 didn't really run into didn't really run into that. Yeah. Thank much. you, Joe. I, hey, I appreciate you, man. Uh, you know, my my, my barber, Shea Butter Shot. Shout out to uh, Rashad. He he got Shout out to Rashad. Yeah, man. Of course. He's, he's of course. a good guy. He had a uh, nice positive message on the board today, man. He's you know, what I mean, he's 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 one of those brothers that's always, always looking out for the community. Good guy. So I love him. yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. And I'm feeling, you know, feeling all right. Feeling all right. Yeah. Go, all right, good to hear. Go play some tennis tomorrow. Been, been playing some tennis here lately. Been good to hear. Good yeah. To hear. I'm trying to. How, how are you scoring it? Are you, are, you, uh, are you doing the one, two, three, fours? Or are you doing the uh, zero? Are you no, doing my the partner love, and I love, are, are, are in our love, in five, beginner three, stages. Four. So we, 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 we are good to get some rallies going. Uh, oh. <laughs> the so last time scoring. we actually, we actually let the machine spray to us. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're not we're not we're not sparring, is it? No, nah. not I playing mean, pickup games. No, nah. she she she's a little bit better than I am right now, so she's okay. she's being patient with me. There was a big tennis was a big part of my life uh, when I was growing up, and my brother's three years younger than me, and he was shorter than me. And he had he had scoliosis. Later, we found out he was scoliosis, but he was only a little shorter, and and. Basketball was a little tougher for him. Tennis mm -hmm. was a little tougher for him uh, mm -hmm. because just it just was. And because and and you realize later, oh, if you're six three and you're playing tennis, it might it might be an advantage. 
to be able to yeah. cover that net and and and, and, uh, and uh, wingspan and things of that nature. But anyway, shout out to Jeff Jones because he got that height. <laughs> it's the USTA ranking. <laughs> there, there we go. And and so I, you know, I tennis camp. We were both in camps and uh, coaching, and and we were getting coached in camps and all this. I don't know what my parents were looking to achieve with that, other than having a uh, burn mm. up, out there. I mean the hard asphalt of Dallas. I mean, and I wasn't diving for any shots, bro. I mean, that, oh, I guess you scored. You know, uh, I wasn't diving for any shots. And no. um, and it's funny. It's not funny. It's interesting. My daughter, say, started tennis lessons in like the fall of 2020. Huh. And so it was kind of nice at first. Then it got like, cold, like in real life cold. And she didn't want to shag. shag, shag the, the, uh, she didn't want to, you know, Put the yeah. tennis balls back in the in the yeah. in the uh, in the thing. That's that's really one of the. And she was like six. I think mean, was she six? Yeah, she was six. She was. It was just she was not feeling. It. And I was so excited because she. I mean, she when she focused, mm-hmm. she could really hit the ball over the net and it landed right. And uh, she was starting to put a little something on it. And I was like, oh man, it's crazy. and then she's just like, I'm done with this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. After I bought a racket, I bought shoes. <laughs> it's an investment. It, hey, you buying balls? And that racket is that racket. I got. I bought a bag of balls from Dick's Sporting Goods. I, I got all this stuff. I was ready to go. Got to practice the ones for the practice thing. You know, di- look different color, little smaller. She quit. But uh, tennis is a game of life. It's a game for life. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm very, very excited about this. She'll pick it back up. Sure. They don't even play tennis this fall. You know, they took all the teams away. I think it's coming back. I think that's going to come. Back. You know, they 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 got rid of the athletic department. But I I do believe. In the next 10 years, athletics will be back as well. I mean, they still got courts, right? They have the courts. They have PE class, but but there's no basketball hmm. team, no tennis team, no track team. But they have oh, not, wow. now they have now they have club teams that they didn't have before. Ah, so there's okay. club soccer, club lacrosse, club gotcha. tennis. You know, there's all this club stuff coming back, which <laughs> leads me to believe like, when they would decide to go to wellness, uh, that's why that Ralph Warren shirt says Spell and Well, because they didn't have, you know, Right, I got you. I got you. I got you. They weren't—they weren't, they weren't going to put jaguars on anything. It's kind of weird to me, but but, mm. but that—that's what was approved. So, mm. mindless information. <laughs> hey, speaking of the tennis courts, man, you know I stay uh, in Du Bois. Shout out to Du Bois freshman year. Shout out to Du Bois, fourth floor, and uh, you know we had that Her nice heart. view of the tennis courts. Nice, nice. You, view. Actually, your freshman year, you used, used to have the the basketball court too, the late night basketball. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That was. That was that was the re- that was re- roughest to the rough. It was real out oh, yeah. there playing basketball. Oh yeah, it was a uh, rough and tumble for sure. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's it's my boy Nard's birthday, man, and uh, Nard okay. Nard liked to play pranks. And one of his pranks that he played, uh, he 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 wrote a note on a piece of cardboard, slid it under the, the homie's door. Uh, uh, I'm gonna kick your ass. Meet me on the tennis courts. Signed, the Punisher. <laughs> Who was the Punisher? The Punisher was Nar. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I don't know. Man. Did, did he meet him out there? Did the nah, person show up? No, nah, Mike didn't do that. No, nah, it, it was it was it was sent to Mike. Mike Mike was better than that. Mike Mike had a black belt. He was like, meet me here, <laughs> right here. Man, we don't need we don't need to go out there. I, I can take care of what I need. Yeah, I yeah. can take care of it in this eight foot wide hallway. Six right, foot exactly. wide, seven foot a lot of business hallway. got handled in them hallways, man. That's yeah. true. That's very very true. Anyway, shout out to Nard on his birthday, man. Old Memphis. Happy birthday. Old, uh, baseball body head. <laughs> baseball body head. Baseball field body head. I, I was baseball to... field body head. Wow. You we know, as a people I, are so lovely. I'm trying, gotta, to, I'm trying to picture Joe, him, Have you listened to this 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 guy? He has his uh, you know, I lead on you know, me. Was in Memphis, that, that guy? No, I just, no. Because okay. it was <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry, okay. but, I, That's but I hear it's amazing. And there's like a million, you know, likes and streams and it's gone viral. So uh, congratulations to him. And, <laughs> and uh, that's just, me. I'm sorry. That's just, no, I haven't. I haven't. I do listen no, to my, I have this, this great DC comic that does like those voices. Like if a DC, if an old school DC guy did the obbies commercial. That's how I kind of say it. Mm. It's a DC word of the day. It's amazing. He's amazing. But I that's just... the only one I just. No, no, I can't think of his name. Right now. I'd have to look it up, but I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, shoot it. Trying to concentrate. I, I don't worry. 
I will. It'll be shot. Don't so, worry. so guys, we're 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 gonna hold off on uh on Rosemary's Baby for now. La, a, la, la, la. <laughs> It is it is very dense material, guys. Uh, la, la, la. <laughs> and we want to do it right. <laughs> Show you a trip, man. That is so scary. It is so it's haunting. It is, it is so scary. It is because yeah. I know it's gonna happen. And I'm trying to like fully concentrate, but then I pick my phone up so that I don't get scared. Oh, this, this is what's making it hard for me to finish this. Yeah. I, I, no. I, I apologize. I That's had it on DVD. Oh, hey, man, man, I had it on Blu-ray, man. No, no, I had it on DVD. It was a green, the green box. Oh yeah. It's like green cover. I got, yeah. I got the Criterion Collection, buddy. Of course. It would only be but now. <laughs> Starring the great Mia uh, Farrow. John Cassavetes, my man. Oh, man. A lot of, a lot Adrian! Of Adrian! Yes. <laughs> a lot of good stuff going on in that film. Um, and, and, and we can't wait to talk about it. But, but tonight, we're going to... Uh, first of all, we're going to recap. <laughs> Nina and Shay are just hey, I know they're loving it. Uh, I'm doing this for just for Nina and Shay. And I, if I'm annoying, you just you just tell no, me. Nina, show, Nina, Nina actually, uh, she she thoroughly enjoyed the last episode. Uh, <laughs> I, I got a little bit of guff about uh, some of my picks of my my white girl crushes of the '80s. You know, Notice I, I stayed that. far away. I just gave you one name. I, was with you and I, stayed away. <laughs> I had to hear about it. I think the one I heard the most about was Tina Yothers, and I I, can't, I don't really have no explanation. Yeah, I, but it's yours. It's your yeah. pick. Yeah, you it's know. like it's like I sent you that list of the top forty HBO shows according to um oh, yeah. and, people, and people were really upset. I'm like, well, that's you <laughs> you take your stuff yeah. and you write your list and then you come up with yours. And that's the beauty of list. You can make your own list. You can. Ladies and gentlemen, you can make your own list. <laughs> Play with me. your own spreadsheet. <laughs> all those things. <laughs> Rain, fire, all that. All that. Yeah. All those things. Yeah, so so they they were upset. I, I didn't understand to the others did. I don't now, but you know the beauty of it is it's yours. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> understand, and, girl, that my heart is in your. You know. <laughs> oh 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 hey, <laughs> and I'm cautious. <laughs> falling in love again. <laughs> so please. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. That, that takes me. You know. Uh, yeah. You. Yeah. I saw that video and decided to go to Howard University. Like that was the video. I was literally in the throes of a decision between Howard and Hampton. And, and, and I saw, and I, I I came home, basketball season was over, baseball season was on. I came home, I turned on, had to be, it wasn't the only TV raps, so it had to be BET. No, yeah, only BET was showing it. Yeah, and the Baby I'm Yours video was on. Oh, yeah. And it said, How are you? The they start up, you know, singing a cappella in Green Stadium. <laughs> the heck that, like, bro. What? No. Here we are. Yeah. Understand, yeah. girl, that my heart is in your I'm, I'm filling out that application. I'm sending back that deposit. Oh, it was on. We were. We were. I'd already sent it. I, it's. Yeah. I was on detention. I did all my applications. I was in house suspension. I did all my oh. applications. <laughs> that day. Howard Hampton and Dillard, all in one shot. In house suspension. Oh my god. I had tar- I had too many tardies, and then you had to come up ah. for detention, and then and you had to come for detention. <laughs> and the detention was before school. Yeah, I was time I was yeah. You went to student body, went to a lot. Student body <laughs> president. You know, student body president. Sorry. There you go. There you go. There you go. I was gonna talk my um, way but yeah, but yeah, man. So you got in trouble with your sister. I mean, not necessarily trouble, but she, you know, she had jokes more than anything else. I'm sure. Yeah. But they can have their the commensurate list. No problem. Yeah. yeah no I mean, problem at all. I remember they, in the they, 80s watching basketball. My mom said, Oh, Pat Riley. <laughs> they all love Pet Rap. Then Pat it was Riley, Matt McConaughey. Man. Then it was McConaughey. Oh my gosh, it was McConaughey. Then, that had to be a uh, Dallas thing. Nah, I heard that a lot at Spelman College. Okay, okay, okay. A lot at Spelman College. Huh. Interesting. This is before the, yeah, it would be riding and Verizon. Before all the Lincoln ads, it was before that. I'm talking like a, a time to kill kind of hate. Mm-hmm. After 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 being Wooderson, before 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 Wolf Wolf. Okay, he was still he hadn't even gained the weight back from Dallas Buyers Club when he ah. did the movie. Might have been in the middle of it because he only did a day. <laughs> he only did a day of that movie, but hey, 
You're doing a Scorsese. Let's go. But I'm with you, brother. Let's talk about what we talked about last week. We, we talked about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have yeah. any regrets from Goonies? No, not a single one. Me neither. Not a single one. I, 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 I felt real good about it. I still feel good about it. And thank you. I went back to watch those two uh, deleted scenes, which uh, fortunately, thanks for the internet, they're, they're out there. <laughs> they're there. Um, the store scene was like crazy, man. The convenience store scene that you mentioned was crazy. Yeah, uh, it's good he was gonna like <laughs> it is, but it kind of did, for continuity's sake, it means that like brand caught up with him. Yeah, like when was that? Was that before they they locked him up or after? Like so, this is I before they locked him up. So they would have all gone down there and then come back. That yeah. kind of doesn't make sense. It, it didn't doesn't make, sense. make a whole lot of sense. No, because he wasn't supposed to leave the house. And so if they yeah. weren't together, it, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. But that scene, the movie Octopus, it looked, oh my gosh. It's like you yeah. spent all this money. And then you, and then you have that horrible octopus. <laughs> horrible octopus. Absolutely horrible. horrible. Absolutely. Horrible. I wish I'd seen the, the monkey scenes. Those yeah. are the ones that, that got cut and they were like explaining that it, that was. <laughs> That was like the 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 meat of those character of the of the you know the uh, like the Bushwick Country Club people. Uh, that's not who they really were, but you, I think you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Bush, the Bushwick, Bushwick, country all, all those, all Bushwick, those Bushwick, Bushwick. I said Bushwick, Bushwick. Oh, gosh. Yeah. The Bushwick, yeah. Bushwood. <laughs> I was trying to do my, my laugh like a oh, man. How about but, a fresco? Uh, him? <laughs> what did you say again? I said, How about a fresco? Him? Yeah, let's do. It. Let's definitely have a fresco. Uh, what's my man's name from? Uh, Close for uh, Nick, Ted Knight. Ted Knight. Oh, God. Joe Smales. Yeah. <laughs> Ted Knight. We haven't done the Caddyshack, have we? No, we haven't. I watched it for the first time. Now, I'd seen Caddyshack too, like 100 times. It was like a HBO classic. Yes. But I, I watched Caddyshack for the first time, like, I don't know, this past summer. And okay. uh, it, was, it was suggested to me on Prime. And uh, I was like, man, let me just do this. And I had a ball. I was laughing out loud. Somebody uh, step on a duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the Snickers. It was a baby roots. The baby oh, roots. Okay. The whole thing. I'm not. I don't want. I don't, I'm not going to relitigate it right now. But yeah. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I have no problem. I think we should do it around the Masters. I'd uh, be perfectly yeah. honest. I, I, say less. Say less. Less has been said. <laughs> um. Yeah, man. So we also made some picks. We made some picks. Calvin Smith, you are 10 and 0. 10 and 0. Calvin and Smith. I didn't bet on a single one of them. And you should have. You should have I played the cover. You just brother. Yeah. You guys have a new, a new tennis racket, a restring it or something. <laughs> it's a new yeah, shoe. My, my restring pay for my restringing for, for the next yeah, a new, year. A new outfit, a new tennis yeah. outfit or something. Yeah, yeah Sergio Ticini. Ah, there he is. And only you can pronounce it. So last week, the games were <laughs> Jackson. Jacksonville and Kansas City, that wasn't a tough one. We both picked Kansas City. Got the, yeah. the New York Football Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles, we both picked the Eagles, even though we begrudgingly, both of us, got that right. Yeah, we got then that right. the uh, Cincinnati Bengals played at, at Buffalo. Uh, you picked the Bengals. You were correct. I picked the Bills. I was correct. Uh, and then the San Francisco 49ers, the, the Dallas Cowboys played at the San Francisco 49ers. You correctly picked the San Francisco 49ers, and I sentimentally picked the Dallas Cowboys. I picked all f- – I went for the black quarterbacks throughout yeah. the weekend. Yes, you did. Um, I, had, I told my cousin that from Chicago. He said, that's fine on those, but don't go to Vegas with that mentality. And I was like, okay. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, cousin. Thank you, big cousin. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, um, Yes, it was. So you are 10 and 0 as we go into the championship round. It ends this week, bro. I, I. This ends now. <laughs> I like these matchups, though, man. These, these, these matchups are really be, good. These should be some good this, games. This should be the last four, right? This should be. This should be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dallas didn't deserve to be in there. I, I, you know, it would have been nice. They didn't deserve. It. Is it? Is they, it they had a lot of chances. They fired six, seven coaches, but they kept Mike. They did. And they also kept Kelly. Uh, they kept Dan Quinn, which I think is the most important thing that they got. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Quinn. Well, is well, the- well, let me say so far they kept, <laughs> they yeah. kept Dan Quinn. I think that's the most important. They got to pay him whatever whatever he wants. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, promises probably too. 
probably. I'll I'll put it this way. All you need all you need him for is one year. Uh, see, that's a cowboy mentality, right? All you need him for is one year. Mm-hmm. No, but but uh, because if they don't do it next year, you gotta blow it. You gotta yeah, it. it's gonna be blowing up anyway. Shot. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a slam shot. Exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying oh, this is I got you. I'm not yeah, not like that. But uh, they had the number one offense in the league. They went in to San Francisco. They scored 12 points with the number one offense in the league. Um, had a and, and took and took that high flying San Francisco offense and only allowed 19. Yeah, yeah. Michael um, Parsons so had Dan, legitimate beef. He, yes, Michael Parsons did his job. Demarcus Lawrence, I mean D Law was doing his job. Yeah. Uh, Dan Quinn, Dan Quinn did his. Job. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe if Trayvon Diggs intercepts that ball, let's catches that ball. It's a different game. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things, but it comes really comes down to quarterback play in my opinion. And the quarterback, I mentioned it in our NFL group. I'm just going to say this again right here. I left it alone in the NFL group because I know that feelings are still very, very raw. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Particularly for my, my countrymen from Dallas. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to the other and, and Larry. Yeah. Calvin, I can always talk to L. L, gets Larry, a little, L Larry gets L, really L, emotional. L goes, yeah, he did, and I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, I, he's like, just like my brother in that. And that Jordan Carlos, oh. I don't want to punch the screen and all that. I, I, that's my brother. I'm not saying this. That's Larry saying that. But but uh, I left it alone because when yeah. I said it the first time, I noticed there was no comment on what I said. But yeah. I said, he's not the guy. I said, uh, Dak is not the guy. Yeah. Because the thing is, he's not going to win you games. Yeah. And I'm saying that to say his decisions aren't going to win you games. And I, when I say games, I mean games that matter. Yeah. Uh, his arms are going to win you games. His legs are going to win you games. But he can lose you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As and he lost, as demonstrated, his last two months yeah. were rough. Yeah. His last eight week, last eight outings were rough. Yeah. By and large. By and large. When, by and when, large. The, when the heat starts getting a little yeah. hotter. I mean, he had a great game at Tampa Bay. He put it all together at Tampa Bay. And, they, you yeah. know, it's $40 a million. Dollars a team too. It was. But he put it together. <laughs> you, yeah. you play. You, you play who supposed to be. You, be, you and you play the team across the the sidelines, right? That's who you play. Absolutely. But, but that one's on. Deck. I got to play better. I got to be. You are absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. Those two interceptions were were stupid, horrible, and it should have been like four or five. I mean, those balls. He was throwing ducks. Yeah, he was they so were cool. high. They were low. They were fluttering out. It was just like, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. But. Uh, and in fairness, Purdy was throwing some bad ones too. Oh, but, he was throwing bad ones, but they didn't catch. Them. Yeah, they didn't intercept. Them. And that's the difference. It, it's literally in a seven-point game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. I mean, and they, you know, he threw one. One guy was sitting right there. They're wearing red. They wear red. Like he's not wearing like gray. He's not wearing pale blue. It's not. Right. Oilers, they're wearing red. <laughs> he threw it right to that man. You know what right I'm saying? Down. And right then down. the other one, they're in the red zone. It was the wrong read. He was going through progressions too fast. It was the wrong read. Olsen called it. He was like, why is he going through progressions so fast? Like, why did he check him down so quickly? But he, yeah. he was. He was. I don't know what. I, I don't know what's going on. And then when Pollard went down, so that the thing was, when Pollard went down, there were going to be no match for Philadelphia without Pollard. So he broke his leg and his ankle. Yeah, yeah. On that play, I mean, as a physician, I'm pretty sure you saw it, and he yeah, body nah. went one way, and his it, yeah. it all. No, nah, that was that was a fracture, until proven otherwise, and and it was not proven otherwise. <laughs> it was definitely a fracture. Now, did he walk off? I, I thought he. No, nah, they put him in an air cast, and he uh no, nah, he didn't walk off. They put him in an air I know, cast. I know he drove. I, I meant off the literally off the field. Oh, they, no, he he crawled off the field, and then they lifted him up. Yeah. Because yeah. because you know you can do that sometimes and it's like it, it, it won't necessarily but no, that, that's not fair no way when his face went like ah, yeah. and, and, nah, happened, and, and, like, oh. and he could lose that leg doing that so I'm glad he didn't <laughs> yeah yeah and there's that and there's that. as he goes into free agency oh well, I want to um, give a shout out real quick to uh to Greg Olson man because like Greg Olson called a hell of a game man and he's about to lose his job because Tom Brady. 
Tom Brady's coming. You, you, think, you think they're gonna put Tom in the top spot like immediately? I mean, they, I that's, they that's that's the money they're gonna pay him. Three leg Greg's gonna lose his top spot. And, he's and he's, the he's been fantastic. Like he has been good. He has been good. It's interesting because you don't really have a lot of tight ends that uh, call games. Yeah, I can't think of Rand, any. Randy of Cross. Randy Cross was Randy Cross. I think he was Randy. I, I don't know why I thought I, he's either a defensive line or he was a tight end. I can't. I cannot remember. I'm gonna look. Yeah, I can't remember either. But, but I, 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 part of me wants to say Randy Cross was a tight end. Uh, but you don't get too many tight ends that 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 you to your point. They get in the booth and know it like they know it, like 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 how he like how Greg's no. calling it, man. No, he was an offensive line. I knew he was on the line, but he wasn't. Okay. He, he was a See, right guard. Do a great job. A, Dan Dierler. Yeah, they early, see it all. Early Dan, yes. not early Dan. Thank you. Not late. <laughs> not when he not nutritious, nutritious, fast, slim. Dan Dirtle. slim, fast Dan Dirtle. They were all on it for like a month. Yeah, they had they had the Sands of Belt pants showing how much they lost. Just looked a little different, but um, I was watching some video of Allstock the other day. Oh, today, oh. and they were like, "Oh, it was a bowling ball." Eh. There's no beauty in it. No. I'm just I'm just whining right now. I don't you know. Tom Rathman. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Tom Rathman was my guy, man. With your Niner love. Look at you with your I mean, Niner you love. Know, I, look, I, was, I saw a lot of Niners games being in that division. I'm sure, I'm sure you did. 44, right? Rathman was 44? Yeah. With the back. I mean, but look, All-Star was, All-Star was, was great. He was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When they show, when they string, when they string the, the, the runs together, it looks like he always ran for 12 or 15. He did not. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when it worked, it worked. Like when yeah. you were trying to wear somebody down, and yeah, give it was him and Dunn, it. right? Yeah, it's him and Dunn. Yeah. But Dunn didn't win the Super. Bowl. No, no, Dunn, Dunn left and went to the Falcons, and and yeah, I mean, you know, but he I'm took his money and he bought points on the package, and he's doing very well because. <laughs> hey man, Or <laughs> Dunn is a hell of a man. He he needs to be getting some awards from from places. I agree. I agree. Places like the Morehouse College. Yeah. For like sure. Morehouse College. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So, uh, so what are your picks for this week? Since they're so tough. All right. So this week, uh, we San Francisco tough, so. at Philadelphia first. <laughs> San Francisco uh-huh. at Philadelphia. Um, I, I just can't see Brock Purdy standing up to this rush that Philly, this Philly pass rush. I think you yeah. know. I mean, Dallas kind of exposed them a little bit. In that first half, uh, a little bit you got him a little bit, you know. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Jimmy DeJean. Uh Yeah, no problem. I, 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 I gotta okay. go with Philly in that first mm-hmm. game. And okay, Philly, Philly, the Philly Bowl. You going with the Philly Bulls? I'm going. I'm going with the the Bulls from Philly. Young Bulls, those young Bulls out there in Philly. I'm with Philly too. Uh, I'm with yeah. again. I'm wrong. I'm well with the what 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 he say in the wire. Well, who are you gonna vote for, Norman? Uh, one of the brothers. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the brothers. Yeah, man. <laughs> Do I have your vote, Norman? I'll probably go with one of the brothers. Um no, I, I think they're a team of destiny. And uh I believe in the Eagles. Yeah. And I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride with the Eagles uh, yeah. on this one. I yeah. think the Niners are a one trick pony. Yeah. And Dallas showed them some things. Dallas was showed showed Philly some things. Yeah, and they also showed the Kansas City and the Bengals. Right. And so, just in case, yeah. you know, I think you 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 hit him you hit him a couple from a couple of different sides. Yeah. Uh, you leave Trent Williams alone and go right the other way. Yeah. You should be you should be all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You you should be able to get to him. And when you get to him, he doesn't. They they cover up. Purdy a lot. They cover up his in, yeah. which which a good which a good good offensive minded coach he yeah. does. I'm not I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm Kyle not, Shanahan is in his bag. That's his he scheme is, is very truly well. in his bag, right? So mm-hmm. we're not going to make you do too much. We're going to make get, get you some nice good reads. You can yeah. make the throw cool as long as you know they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna bump and bruise Kittle a lot. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna do his thing, but he's gonna he be the only one who's really gonna be able to do his thing. They're, I think uh, Philly will bottle up Debo like Dallas did. Yeah, uh, and I don't, I don't, I think McCaffrey uh, would be whatever, but I think Philly's just too. 
explosive. Yeah, for no, I mean, they haven't seen somebody like Hassan Reddick, like, you know, get a, a fresh and Dominican Sioux <laughs> out here, man. I mean, like, no. It's, it's going to be yeah, relentless. Yeah. If he thought last week was, was rough with those, those guys, the, the guys up front, that first three quarters, they were batting Brock around like, like I mean, they were they were knocking him left, right, hurries, all, all that. Yeah. But I, I I think, and this is for all the Marvels. So it's no tomorrow. Philly, Philly will handle it. I think Brock will throw one. I mean, if it, I'm with Philadelphia. Uh, I think it's like a 24 to 16 game or something like that, or yeah. 27 to 16, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I don't think it's a blowout by any means, but I think it's. No. I don't think it's gonna be. It's still, you know, it's still kind of double digits, but like a late yeah. score, or you know, or they'll yeah. be up and then they'll come yeah. back, you know, a little bit, yeah. something, like something like that, something like that. I'm with you. I'm with you. So that'll make Ray Herring, uh, one of our our most loyal listeners, Ray Herring, my homie Ray, young bull Ray, <laughs> the young bull, the young bull, <laughs> make my man Ray very happy. John, but, uh, yeah, John. and Dr. Garrett, the, all these people, all these Philly fans in my life, they'll be happy to see uh Philly in the Super Bowl again and it is it, well earned. Uh so yeah I got I got them in that game and uh second game AFC Championship at Chiefs. Woo okay man so you I'm know, wondering where you are I've been up and down like my thoughts initially and I think I need to just stick with my gut but just hear me out. My thoughts initially were that uh the Bengals are just a nightmare matchup for the Chiefs. They they just they just had a number. And so I was thinking healthy Patrick, not healthy Patrick, Bengals. But Patrick is also trying to submit his legacy. I think, you know, I just, something in my gut is telling me. It's in Arrowhead. You know, the last one was in Arrowhead. But it's in Arrowhead. Kelsey looked incredible last week. They got. I I just I I don't know Joe I'm, I'm I my gut is saying Kansas City. Is that what you're actually saying or just your gut? So here's the other side of this, because you know there's but there's a flip side to this. <laughs> I let you. Have, what are you gonna say? Go ahead. The Bengals. The Bengals are hitting on all cylinders, man. And Jamar Chase, like I mean. Until somebody proves they can stop that man when he's healthy, it's hard to pick against them. They have an underrated defense. They they play with a chip on their shoulders. Uh, uh, my man Reader, uh, you know the the hated Eli Apple. You know <laughs> they got they got they got ballers on that squad, man. Um, and and you know a lot has been made about the offensive line, but the Chiefs don't make a whole lot of uh, pressure really. I mean, you got. Frank Clark and uh and 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 Jones, but like right. you know, I mean, they don't they don't create a lot of pressure, so they don't. it's gonna be high scoring. Uh, yes. I think it's gonna come down to the last uh the last drive, mm-hmm. and I think I I just I think Patrick does it, man. So I'm picking the Chiefs. I'm going with the Chiefs. Wow, I'm going with the Chiefs. I predict I predicted you would go another way. Uh, Chiefs don't have a defense. Uh, like talking about, uh, I don't think they had anybody in the Pro Bowl mm-hmm. on defense. I don't, I don't believe they did. I don't think they've had an All Pro on defense in years, probably. I mean, you have to go back and check. I mean, I'm I think not, the Honey Badger might have. Okay, maybe the Honey Badger was Pro Bowler at least. I don't know if he's yeah. All Pro, but he's at least Pro Bowler. Even in the Super Bowl year, they didn't really have. They just they can outscore you. Yeah. So there was not that fearsome. I mean, I'm not saying they didn't have guys that can knock you in your back. I'm just saying. They didn't have that fearsome defense that people were like, oh gosh, we got this guy coming in our building today. And oh right. man, we can't we can't run his way. Chris Jones is just the best of their guys. Uh, so and he's you know, all pro, of, by the way. Okay. Chris Jones, all pro, great. Uh he's the best of their guys. So they do have one. I apologize. I apologize. It's all good. Sure. If you're listening, I apologize, Chris Jones. Really, I do. Uh so, but you know who you play with and you know what plays around. So yeah. Uh, having said that, I, my head wants to go with the Bengals because that's what I watched last week. I watched them dismantle, manhandle, and just destroy the Buffalo Bills. 
I, and it almost seemed, and it almost, almost seemed like that this Bills thing is over. I just want to say, that. yeah, that window is. Yeah, it it almost remember, remember the old Sesame Street. Uh, it's funny with the stuff. Old Sesame Street uh, sketch open and closed. You remember that? Mm-hmm. One? Open, closed. Open, closed. And then snow would come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's kind of how I felt yesterday, uh, last week watching that game, and yeah. it just seemed like this was the year that was supposed to happen. Like everyone was saying it was supposed to happen. Josh Allen's our MVP, all this kind of stuff, right? And it didn't happen. Yeah. And it ended at home. You had a home game in the snow. This is supposed to be your, all of the advantages are pointing your direction. And you guys just could not put it together. Mm-mm. And it was really very startling man, uh, to, watch, to watch that, you know, be that way. But, you know, it is what it is. So having said all that, uh, these Kansas City Chiefs, I just, I don't, I think the hubris is going to be interesting. I hate the fact that the writers, and I put this on my Instagram stories, the writers keep saying head-to-head quarterback. But why do they do that? Why, why, what? You're not playing each other. You're not, not on the field. They're never on the field at the same time. Against each other. Yeah. You're not, yeah. Except at the end. Or maybe at the coin toss. Yeah. So and we both know both of those play. That's not an actual play. Yeah. I don't understand why this keeps happening. I don't understand why this keeps coming up. I saw the Burroughs 3-0 against Mahomes. Well, his team beat their team free. Head-to-head match. It's not a head-to-head match. <laughs> Burrow is going up against Chris Jones. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's going, I remember there was a shirt back in the The 95 Cowboys, the Niners come to town. The world champion, San Francisco 49ers come to town. This is mm-hmm. supposed to be the game of the century. Uh-huh. And the Cowboys have just beat the snot out of them. Mm-hmm. Cleveland or, 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 or the, the Eagles the week before. And man, the Niners come to town. We're like, we're about to kill them. The Niners came to Texas. The Niners came to Texas Stadium. They beat Dallas 45 ways to Sunday, maybe. Okay. They beat Dallas up and down that field. They were they imposed their whiff on Dallas. And in fact, I'm pretty sure that sparked in the rest of the season. But there was a t-shirt that was that came out and it had like the matchups for the day. Uh-huh. And I remember it was like Aikman against Hank. Oh. Or Eric Allen, right? Right. And it was, it, you know what I mean? It was, and it was that like makes sense. Smith, right. Smith against whatever one of the linebackers, whatever one of the linebackers won. It's somebody against uh uh day oh gosh uh young on the line right it was like yeah. Brian, common young. Sense, yeah. Brian Young right so it was like common sense the water waters against uh shoot I can't waters against uh Robert Jones I don't know it was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. some 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 cowboy linebacker yeah. the point yeah. he was like oh that makes sense. okay young against Haley that makes sense yeah that makes all the sense in the world yeah but this head to head thing is stupid to me so when you say Burrowhead. I understand. Hype yourself. <laughs> Hype it. Hype it up. And I just watched the last dance too. So I, I'm, I'm like, kind of in one of those things. Like, you, yeah, you, you've tasted a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't finish the job. No, no, no. And so you feeling yourself? I, just, I, I feel you, bro. You gotta help yourself up. Believe in yourself. I love his swag, man. I love Burrow swag, bro. No, no, no. I'm not talking about Joe. Okay. I'm talking about Apple and them calling it Burrowhead and all that kind of stuff. Okay. okay, okay. You what? He's 3 0 there. I'm going to go. Gosh, I'm still a race man. I'm a race man. <laughs> you are a race man. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Dee Calloway, also, man. Hey, exactly. <laughs> shout out to my dearly, my dearly departed brother, Tim Cunningham. He used to always ask me, Are you truly a race man? Are you truly a race man? No, you are. Okay. And I'd have to, I had to qualify as to why I was. And tell them, I'm going to go with Mahomes because, like you said, and this is a long thing just to say one day. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with Mahomes because I believe Pat is about time. Yeah. I'm hearing all this stuff. Yeah. He's going to go out there and put it together. Yeah, I agree. 85% Pat, as long as you got Kelsey and uh, Camacho. What is it? Pacheco. Pacheco. Yeah. <laughs> and McKinnon. McKinnon. My main man, McKinnon. I sat on the bench twice, two weeks in a row, like an <laughs> idiot. 
My main man, you know, my main man McKinnon. Yeah. I think you'll be – as long as you got those guys on your team, you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. So I'm going to go – They, I'm they gonna got go some change. quiet contributions from my man Kadarius Tony. Like, you know, it's going to be like, you know, a, a Valdez Scantling, like one of those like clutch – Wait, who'd you, who'd you go with? Who'd you go I went, I went with the Chiefs. That's what I thought. We together, I think. We together on this. I first, I we we're together this whole weekend. I first, yeah. I first had venues because I did it though on my, uh, whatever the day they played the game. I was like, oh, yeah, Bengals. this yeah. is the Bengals <laughs> all day. I must have done it yeah. last Saturday, uh, last Sunday. So yeah, we we were both agreed Philadelphia. So the Super Bowl will be Philadelphia and Kansas City. A, a unique matchup. Small market. Yeah, we've never we've market. never seen Philly and KC in the, in the Super Bowl together. No, we've never seen them. And we've never seen Philly and uh, the Bengals in the Super Bowl. Together. Right. Now, we've seen San Francisco and San Francisco Baltimore. and the Bengals. Yeah, we've yeah. seen that. And San Francisco and the San Francisco and Kansas City. Yeah, we've seen that very recently. That, just, that was the COVID one. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so. Okay. Well, that, well that's – that's uh, Yeah. I look forward to sending you that art. That art is hey, we, 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 we put it on the line. We're telling everybody. Like, you know, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no day of or – like uh, retrospective, like oh, I had no. We we ate. Oh, you mean but, like people were doing to me after the uh, Clark game? Like whoa, where were you? Well, hold up, man. <laughs> hold on. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote. Congratulations, your first win since 2019. If you were, fun, <laughs> I'm not the one. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, no, I'm, you're not, Joe. People, I'm, I'm from 830 West. You drive. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you something. Yeah, that's my Denzel refrain. I'm gonna teach you something. You, you, <laughs> first time you beat us in four years. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. go talk to yourself. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now you know how it feels. A whole class. <laughs> whole class of CAU folks. They never seen them beat Morehouse. And, and you know, I mean, hey. This is the first time. It's like it's like Hulk of 99 for the class of 2000. Yeah. Um, <laughs> At least we didn't bury them and, and make a coffin for them and everything like that before. We, the, which we right. could have, but nobody respects history. Nobody yeah. nobody looks at it. Nobody, nobody. Act like you've been there. Isn't that Why check us back? Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> Hand the ball to the ref. <laughs> Hand the ball to the ref. Hey, look, man. If if you ever have the opportunity to watch a game with Joe, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch a game with Joe. Like this is a this is the anniversary of like the uh, what was that game, the Clark game, man? Uh, with that horrible, horrible picture of me doing the uh, Degeneration X crotch chop. And this is the 23rd year anniversary. Right? <laughs> like, like, actually, that game was on a it was like a day before. Uh, Valentine's. It's like Valentine's. He's getting ready yeah. for because uh, it wasn't Valentine's Day. I, I know where I was. <laughs> getting yeah, ready. I know where I was. I'm sorry. Get I said we're work. getting ready for the elixir or something like that. We <laughs> no, that no, that was that was that's that's in the fall. No, the elixir. I thought okay. Fall elixirs in the fall. No, there was a, the deltas. HK had a dance. Had a, had a party. ah, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. And they had a party uh, downtown. Don't ask why I know that. They had a party downtown at a spot called the Mark. Yeah, uh, right. uh, in in the in the uh, fairly popular area. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's right. But uh, they they had a party. They we threw a party. Yes, we threw a party. That's right. Came that's over. Right. Yes, we threw a party. Uh, I, but anyway, so that's what. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, man. So what a time. <laughs> so uh, another thing that happened this week, man. Our, one of our favorite times of year. Uh, it's the most. <laughs> wonderful time of the year they they released the oscar uh nominations sir yeah they did and uh Hooray for Hollywood. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the next one i don't know the next one they did man so where were you you sent me the link because i was man, i don't know what i was doing. what's the 24th there was something else was the 24th oh it was jack and jill uh jack and i was jill, getting yeah. my jack i was getting my jack and jill Hey man, anniversary both founders day anniversary both together eighty five years prolific. Hey man, you had a murderer's rush. <laughs> well, why thank you. So, uh, yeah, I was doing that and I was like, man, what? what's that happening today? It was Rodriguez Murray's birthday. Shout out to Rodriguez Murray. Happy Shout birthday, out to Rodriguez keeping HBCUs alive, oh. alive, yes. almost single handedly, <laughs> almost, <laughs> brother, almost. And it was also a day that we learned that our dear friend and brother. Uh, Jeffrey Robinson, class vote two, uh, co anchor of, of the renowned PBS News Hour, endowed a scholarship at Morehouse College for future okay. journalism, uh, future English, major, English majors and future journalism uh, majors as well. 
And to a Dallas scholarship at Morehouse, you know, my brother's talk. Um, you know, I'm sitting, I'm on this show with a man who's bought cable. <laughs> the camel in the dark. Gale. And uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot, you know, I, on Facebook, just this past week, there's a lot of people talking revisionist things and things that never were. And I'm just really, I want to say, you know, a lot of people talk. And as other people actually do things, like Calvin Smith, uh, as other people actually do things, like Jeffrey Robinson did. And to endow a scholarship at Morehouse College, um, there's a certain financial level, yeah. okay, that uh, is six figures. Yeah. All right? Uh, we, we have another dear friend of the show, uh, Ronald Falls, who's, who's, who's been on. Yes, sir. Uh, Ronald Falls, who was in Dallas Scholarship at the that's, University that's of That's why I, I learned how to buy a table from. <laughs> so yes. Him, I was and he, bought his first, he bought his first table 16 years ago, in yeah. 2007. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to say uh, that's a lot, okay? And, and um, say it like it is. Say it plain. At the apex, at, at, as, he, as this is set, Apex, which we had a magazine called Apex that he was at. Uh, he, I, was, I was executive editor. That, that Jeff editor. Bennett, yes. Shout yeah, out. Yeah. To the, the shout, shout out to GRB, yes. And he was, the beauty of it was there was an article in every magazine, ebony.com, which is every magazine now, uh, every magazine article about Jeff and, and scholarship. And he referenced Lamone Bennett and the Maroon Tiger, uh, which is our shared, our shared, one of our shared uh, 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 nature of our associations. Yes, sir. And, and you know, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yes, sir. That at the, at the, I mean, here he is at the base of this mountain, and he's already giving back. Yeah, yeah. At the base of this mountain. Yeah. I, I just, I'm so proud of Jeff. I, I, I don't even have the word. I don't have the words. I'm so proud of him. And then, so I see that in the morning, and then Calvin sends me the list. I read the list, Calvin. And I didn't think anything of it. I was looking for a specific name because <laughs> I didn't think a thing. I was rolling through. Da, da, da. I went back and read that list again. I saw my yeah. classmate Brian Tyree Henry on that list. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, Talk I about my phone up. I picked my phone up. I dropped my phone. I picked my phone up. I dropped my phone. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh my God. What, what, what happened? Brian, oh my God. Brian is up for an Oscar. What the heck is going on? Yes, this is the third more house man. The third Morehouse, man. the third Morehouse man to be nominated for an Academy Award. Okay. Number one is Shelton Jackson Lee. Yes, sir. Number two is Samuel L. Jackson. Uh huh. Number three, is Ryan Tyree. Uh, best supporting actor for Causeway. You can watch it on Apple, uh, Apple TV Plus. Uh, the film stars Jennifer Lawrence. Obviously. BTH has been doing his thing. You may know him as Paperboy, Paperboy <laughs> uh, from Atlanta, or uh, uh, he's been on so many things. He was on Vice Principals. He, he's been on so many things. He's an HBO darling. The Eternals. Uh, the, the Eternals. Groundbreaking work there. Um, he's, I mean, he's, he, he's just been working. Oh, the, the um, Spider Man in the, the Spider Verse, oh, yeah. he voiced yeah. he voiced the the, the father, uh, Spider's yeah. father. I mean, it's just um, he's been working, man. Yeah, man, well earned and well deserved, well earned, and you got the ticket to the show. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, the, you know he's gonna show up and show out. You already I know. know. I, I know he is, but he he's in the game. <laughs> he is in the game. He, he just did a brand brand. Yeah, <laughs> Bullet Train is, is is a good movie. I enjoy Bullet Train. I haven't right. seen it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it this week. You know, I'm gonna hey, watch man. it after Russell's movie. The only the only Bruce issue I have with Bullet Train, Bruce I'm a snake guy. I, I, I'm gonna leave it at that. You watch the movie, but okay, I'm 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 a I'm a I'm well versed in snakes, and so okay. I had some issues, but you know, otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Wesley Snipes, Bruce <laughs> really? Bruce? Always get on remember. black. I don't know if you remember that. So Jamie Foxx tells a story about. It. He was standing across the street from the rocks and, and yell out. He was the oh shit guy. He would yell out who was coming out of the, out of the club. <laughs> <laughs> the story he tells about seeing Denzel and marching over to see Denzel. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, I, I'll just send you the clip. Sorry. Yeah, send me the uh, clip. But but now he's he's the guy, right? Now now 
<laughs> Brad Tyree Henry is the guy I want to come out of that club. No, but uh, how'd you feel in general about the, uh, the the nominations? What have you seen? What are your early picks? I know we're going to do an Oscar show, so I look. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to step too much on that, but uh, I felt I felt good about it this year. I, I listened. One of my favorite podcasts to listen to, besides our own, is uh, the Big Picture podcast on the Ringer Network. And so uh, I I, I kind of, you know, they know, they know things. And so I, I followed a lot of their advice in terms of what to watch. And so I've actually seen, I saw four of them, uh, four of the, the best picture, the best picture before yeah. the release of the uh, nominees. I have yeah. subsequently seen uh, two more uh, and we'll add a seventh on uh, tomorrow when uh, when Tar is released on uh, Peacock because I haven't seen that as yet. Finally, it's tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Bro, I was literally like figuring out like, how much money am I going to spend? Nah, well, uh, you got Peacock, I, so you ain't got to spend a dime. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I've been trying to figure out how much money I'm going to spend uh, streaming. Yeah, they say, okay, that's great to know. Thank yeah, you. but uh, so far, my favorite is the Banshees of In- Inner Sharon. Uh, okay. Okay. Closely followed by uh, everything, everywhere, all at once, and uh, Triangle of Sadness. Those, those, those are my top three. Uh, I have one that I definitively hate, and one that I'm never going to see. So, okay, what do you, what do you definitively hate? I, I, I gotta, definitively gotta see hate him. Elvis. Okay, wow. Okay, and what are you never going to see? I'm never going to see Avatar: Way of Water. <laughs> never. I, I was going to flip those. I didn't know which one. I didn't know. Which one was <laughs> I, I figured those were your on your on your list of yeah. hatred. I, I didn't know which one was first and second. Okay, yeah. so uh, in, in best picture, I I saw All Quiet on the Western Front. Yeah, I, I've seen that. Well. I, I called my dad. I, I figured, yeah, you told me that. Actually, I called my dad and I was like, yeah, man, I'm watching All Quiet on the Western Front. He's like, I said, I think you should watch. It. He's like, I didn't like the book, man. I ain't like the first movie. I ain't like the. Yeah. I said, we win. We win the movie. And he, He's like, yeah, but you, you still feel sympathetic about some man, going Nazis, man. I mean, some Germans. Yeah. And I said, that's true. Yeah. I said, but we win. We win. You know, like, you know, I said, you know how this is going to end. 1918, yeah. like that. Do you know how this is all going to end? But I had literally no clue how it was all going to end. Um, so, but I, I saw All Quiet on the Front, which I enjoyed. Okay. Uh, like you, I'm, there's no way I'm going to go pay money to see Avatar The Way of Water. Nah. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, uh, the I I am twenty minutes into the Banshees of Sharon. I've got to finish it. Okay. Uh, I've seen Elvis. I've seen Top Gun Maverick. Uh huh. And I was told to watch Triangle. So I. Oh, I, Triangle Sadness is so good. Yeah. Uh, Kennard Kennard texted me immediately after he saw it. And he said, "Hey, we just watched this. I think you're gonna love it. You gotta watch this." Yeah. And I was like, "Huh? Okay." I mean, he doesn't. I mean, he usually request uh, like suggests like music for me, and it's, it was a film, and I was like, oh, "Okay." I mean, you know, he's 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 a Grammy Award winning <laughs> as he is, no question, no question. And, and so I knew the others were like streaming. I could find everything else, but yeah. everything, everything everywhere all at once is on Showtime right now. And I I started, and I was like, ah, I'm gonna watch this with my wife. So she just yeah. had COVID, so I had to wait. Okay. Uh, so we're we're definitely gonna watch it this weekend. But uh, along with the Fable, I want to see what else she actually wants to watch. Yeah. But uh, so I've only seen All Quiet and Western Front. Elvis and Top Gun Maverick so okay. far. Okay. Um, completed, excuse me. Um, yeah. Now, okay. I want to talk to you a little bit about Elvis real quick. Yes. So, are you a Baz fan? I love Baz. I, I, and I, maybe I'm being harsh. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It's it's not a bad movie. I love Baz. I love I love Romeo and Juliet. I love uh, Moulin Rouge. Gatsby. Yeah, Great Gatsby. Yeah, yeah, I, I like Baz. I like his style. This was a little little bassy, very heavy bass, like a lot of stylistic uh, touches to it, a lot of flourishes. But that's not what bothered me, Joe. Okay. (laughs) What bothered me is the the all-time worst performance in the history of performances of one of my favorite actors, Tom Hanks. Oh. (laughs) Like the Was he nominated? Was he nominated? No. Well, nominated for a Golden Raspberry. Oh, good, because he should have been up for a supporting no, actor. Yeah, no, not not by any stretch. And, and you mean, know, that's like, where he was when that's where he was when he got COVID. What's that? He, he that's where he was when he got COVID. Oh, okay. He was shooting. He was shooting, shooting. this movie. Well, you know, the, so the accent is inaccurate. It's not. This is not how Colonel Tom Parker talked. He really he was a Dutchman, but he he definitely was was more Southern in his flair. Uh, 
The accent. I don't see. I heard his voice before. And it was always Southern. Yeah, I heard Carl Tom Parker's voice before, and it was Southern. So that's why it yeah. threw me off. Yeah, I was like, "What? What?" Yeah, it was. It was, and I mean, and, 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 and take the accent away. It still was a very bad Tom Hanks performance. Like, I, this is not. This is not my. This is not Forrest Gump. This is not uh, uh, Philadelphia. This is not bosom buddies. This is not Uncle Ned. <laughs> family ties. This, like, no. Nah. Throwing back the va- vanilla. <laughs> <extract>. the vanilla. Hey. <laughs> I remember being like eight, being like, "What am I? Why? He got an Emmy for that. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he won an Emmy. Yeah, Uncle Ned was. Uh, I, mean, I mean, they're like, "Where are your socks? I got them right here. I got them right here in my pocket." <laughs> <laughs> Why is it still in my head? I want to talk. I want to talk to you about something right after, after all this. But keep going. Well, no, okay. I mean, so that that's no, I mean, that's no, no. Please keep going. I'm not, okay. Um, I enjoyed the. I love. The I love the movie. Okay. Uh, I didn't think I was going to because I. You know how many times I skipped over it to watch something I've seen three hundred times. Yeah. When I when it was at HBO Max, like yeah, they're trying to force you to watch it, right? Watch <laughs> this movie. Yes. Um, and so when I press play and I'm like five minutes in, I'm like, why didn't I? Do that? Months ago. Three months ago, yeah, because uh, Baz is crazy, yeah, you know. So everything is more lavish and shiny, yeah. yeah, and and all that. And his color schemes are just insane, man. Yeah. But I was gonna say one thing, Baz, and I talked to George about this, and I know we're not we're not relitigating everything. I just want to literally just say this sure. about Elvis. I was talking to George Peters about this, and Baz has a huge preoccupation with African American. Yes, and. It's a good, it can be a good thing because he made the first Gatsby project that included black people mm-hmm. and a lot of them, right? Mm-hmm. Black people did exist in the time of Gatsby. Mm-hmm. Um, he has no problem saying that. He has no problem, you know, feeling that. If a story is told in America and Baz Luhrmann is telling the story of something happening in the United States of America, black people will be in that movie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In that story. Absolutely. So, and he's gonna find a way. So, do I believe Elvis would go down Beale Street and the sisters was going crazy? I don't know <laughs> how true that is, yeah. but I'm glad they all got that work. You know, yeah. I'm glad they got to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do I believe he was really concerned about Martin Luther King dying? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. I really liked the movie, and yeah. it taught me a lot about like because priscilla gave it her blessing by the way oh yeah yeah it yeah, ta- yeah. It, it taught me a lot yeah it taught me a lot about his story yeah and prior to that i just thought things just happened for him yeah. and then i had a far better understanding of why things happen and yeah. so but up to you on with you on hanks i thought it was a horrible I thought Hanks's role, Hanks, what he did was a horrible uh, 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 version of Al Freeman Jr. as Elijah Muhammad. Thank you. You must know. <laughs> did you watch Malcolm X and Dune? I know Denzel's your boy. Like, I know Denzel's your boy. Like, did you just watch Malcolm X and just take Al Freeman Jr.'s entire dialogue oh, yeah, yeah, as, yeah. as Elijah Muhammad? That's yeah. what that's what I'm saying. Like it I, seemed like a bad. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, to me, yeah. to me, yeah, uh, to me. Um, yeah. One that I thought was going to make it somehow, some way for writing or something was the menu, and it wasn't. It, 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 and Ray Fiennes wasn't up for anything. And yeah. I, I don't know why I thought it might be like a dark horse, the menu, but it, it just didn't. I haven't it seen it yet. Check that. Yeah, yeah. And, and I fell asleep on a uh, glass onion, not because I it was. Ooh, I, I like it. I like but it. I, I I was catching it a little too late at night. And yeah, I, I watched it at a good time. I liked it. Um I watched it like one o'clock in the morning. One for a while. I, I just I started it one and I finished it. Like I went all the way through. Uh, that's that's how I did with Elvis too. I was like, <laughs> I guess I gotta keep going on this thing. I mean, I gotta... and, and, and to your point, Austin Butler was great. He was fantastic. But he was yeah. He deserves he deserves the nomination. You know that last scene when like he's singing and he's like bigger, like, yeah. the last yeah. Elvis. Yeah. I when they went to real film, mm-hmm. like to the actual footage, mm-hmm. I I thought it was still awesome. But, like I yeah, was like, oh, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was kind of crazy. 
yeah. you know. Yeah. Emo Elvis is an interesting thing, though, that I didn't realize was a thing. Like, emo, I mean, he, 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 his, I'm sure people are having a field day with the, the, the way stakes are, now granted, it's the bad version. But I'm sure people are having a field, a field day with how he defined manhood. Yeah. And mas- masculinity. Yeah. Uh, there. And I mean, yeah, Elvis is just a concoction. He was just a cocktail of a lot of different yeah. experiences, man. Growing yeah. up with black kids and listening to black music and gospel music. Yeah. Sung by black people. Yeah. And then, and then you know, getting into rock and then blix, mixing it together, a country and mixing it all together. And then it becomes what it is. And then he's a scandal. And then he's got to yeah. go. Like only the armed services can, can, can do that. <laughs> wash you clean and yeah. it was just a wild story it was a wild story but but yeah. uh i enjoyed it but i look forward to seeing all those any other any other nominations really stick out for you i mean i was just happy to see angela bassett uh you know and i i, I think that she's the eyes on favor for that particular uh uh category so yeah uh, yeah looking forward to her getting is, her it, is it for the work or the body of work you think it's uh, that's a body of work for I mean, well, I, she was incredible in Black Panther. Don't get me wrong, but I, this I was, is, what's opinion? opinion? Yeah, this is this is her getting her 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 flowers. Because yeah. I mean, you know, in in it, I mean, honestly, that's a loaded category. That whole category is incredible. My 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 name in in two different group meets, uh, for a very long time was Joe Blutzapaki based on uh, uh uh everything everything everywhere all at once. So yes. you know uh. Like, I mean, you know, I feel very strongly about that film, but uh, Angela, it's Angela's to lose. I'm looking at animated feature and I dev- I did not see Pinocchio. I don't know how I didn't see it. It's Sage is a little, she's aged out of that a little bit. Uh, I didn't see Puss in Boots. I did see Turning Red. That was like literally her birthday movie. We, we ran out to theater for her birthday and saw that. I'm hmm. so, it, it's so interesting that Turning Red is, that's wild. That is a yeah. wild movie. Yeah. It's going to be up for best. And it was early to say for see that, eh? <laughs> Bro. I remember people being like, I, I remember being like, I don't know what, I, I didn't approve this. Yeah. As we're yeah. sitting here talking, period, for the eighth birthday party. Yeah. Um, it was, <laughs> there was a lot going on. A lot going on, bro. Then again, there always is. But yeah, but um, no, happy, of course, we're happy for Ad, Angela Bassett, Morales College, honorary class of. 2019. Oh, yeah. Uh, very, very happy for her. Jimmy Lee Curtis. And I think this is her first uh, nomination ever. Uh, yeah. I believe. I believe so. Uh, my, girl, my girl, Michelle Yo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch all these. I don't think I'm going to see Two Leslie. I don't, I don't know what that is. But I'll oh, definitely oh, see. Do you not know that story? No. All right. What so check this Leslie? out. It, this film did nothing in the box office, nothing anywhere. Uh, oh. Apparently, uh, this 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 actress uh, I forget her name. Uh, Andrea Riseborough. Rise- no, no, w- another actress, uh, Maureen, not Maureen McCormick, but a, a Maureen, somebody or the other, uh, came up with a, a like basically a campaign, and like this was started by actors in Hollywood. Like all of a sudden, people like Ed Norton are tweeting, "Oh, you got to see her in this role," and they had a grassroots campaign, and she she took that spot from uh, Viola Davis and or Danielle Deltweiler. So yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So not too happy yeah. about that that particular one. But. Gotcha. So that's why it's bumming to get an nominee. Okay. Correct. Okay. Because actually, and and Danielle uh, is Spelman 04, much like Brian Tiger Henry is Morehouse. Right. Now. So they, they, they were coordination for us, baby. <laughs> yes, but they they were literally, you know, they were in the same drama, you know, because the drama is, uh, it's you know, it's Spelman. The programs yeah. at Spelman, so yeah. they were contemporaries, which is insane. Um, yeah. She'll she'll get her dress to. She'll get she'll get her dress to. Um, I have not seen Blonde. Um, That's another. I, one. I want. I want I to hear watch it's a it horrible movie. Uh, <laughs> but you know, again, I get. I hear also that Anna Darmas played that the hell out of. Uh, best yeah. friend. Yes. Yeah. Um, we love Marilyn Monroe. Brendan Gleeson, ooh, he's in a, Brian is in a tough category, baby boy. Ooh. Hey, he is in a category. Yes, he is. And and oh man, I mean the sentimental favorite is Data, but you know. Yeah, yeah. I know he is the sentimental favorite. And he's also got Brendan Gleeson in there and Judd Hirsch. I mean, that is a brutal. Oh god, yeah. murderous. Category. 
that category. It's like Denzel's first uh, for, um, cry for you. Uh, it, it's it's that's a rough that's a tough room. Uh, an actor Austin Butler, Colin Farrell, Brendan Fraser, who everyone's loving that, and then Paul Mescal after Sun. I hear it's Knight. a great. Uh, I I I hear it's a great acting turn. I haven't seen it as yet. Me neither. Me neither. Okay. And I'm Actress. a Bill Nye guy, but I haven't seen Living, so. Got it. Yeah. So these, these acting categories are interesting. Yeah. And, and I really, show. I'm excited to see uh, Kate Blanchett man, and and Tar. Like, me, yeah, me, me too. I'm a big Kate guy. I, I I can imagine you are. Yes, sir. So it's interesting to me that. Wow, it's always interesting to me the the. You do 10 for picture, but you only do five for directing. Yeah. And that's really where your money is. Yeah. <laughs> right there. That's those are the pictures that are actually up to the best. Yeah. Yeah. Your those winner's five. gonna come from that category. Yeah, like, those five. Really, usually. 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 Yeah. So those those five are where the uh, where that is. So yeah. Interesting. So that's the banshees of sharing everything everywhere all at once, the Fableman, Tar, and Triglosatin. Those are the ones. Although Triangle of Sadness didn't have any actors for a while. No, and, and once you see it, it'll it'll make, it'll make sense. sense. Okay. Interesting. But, it's probably yeah. their only no, one of two nominations that appears. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, because okay. they're not a, not even I, I, I just I, I, I actually am excited to to have the phone call after you see it. Cause okay. Yeah. I, I look forward to it. It's gotta be for writing, please, at least. Okay, okay, good gosh, thank gosh. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm saying it's up for the big three. If you're gonna be up for anything, picture, director, and, and original screenplay, that's that, that's what yeah. you want. Yeah, you know, it's not hard to be. I mean, that, that's a, that's a, that's a good place. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be anywhere. Um, but I look forward to our Oscar show and oh, yeah. uh um and we'll have to sit down with Derek Cameron. Yeah uh, for that. Yeah, for our Oscar show, but we will be well prepared yes we will prior to at least from the acting category i plan to have seen all not all nine of the ones i plan to see for Wait. the uh, <laughs> for the uh, best picture category and then you know i'm i, I, I love to see brian tyree henry and uh and uh i want to see this uh this paul mescal uh yeah so yeah. i got some i'll be busy me, me too I, uh, 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 so uh, speaking of Jeff Bennett, his father-in-law, you know, I work with his father-in-law. Yeah, of course. Uh, Perry. To Dr. Tony Perry, one of my favorite people. Uh, and he was like, uh, Calvin, how, how, how many movies do you watch a week? <laughs> Cause I know a lot about a lot of movies. I was like, yeah, you know, worried. I watch about 14 movies a week. And he's like, what? <laughs> And, and like he's trying to do the math in his head and everything. And I'm like, man, well, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a single guy, you know what I mean? Like yada yada. Uh and and he still is like, he's not the math's not mathing. I was like, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. And when I do watch TV, it's something I binged already, like right, right. You know what I mean? And 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 when I watch those things, I don't watch any movies. But uh, you know, when I'm watching movies, I'm watching movies and 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 I watch a lot, like especially this season. Uh I'm two a day, you know what I mean? Two a day. <laughs> Oh, you got to, you got to, even at, regardless of how emotional uh, they are. Yeah. Uh, and the, I mean, any movies that we're watching that are nominated are pretty emotional yeah. uh, films. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just some heavy content, you know, every, every subject matter. Oh, I had to take I, me a little break and watch White Lotus uh, because of trying with sadness. So, uh, okay. So, yeah, White Lotus season one is insane. Season two is insane. Um, I was seeing I, that. <laughs> I wish you nothing but the best there with season two as well. I mean, Michael uh, Perioli, man, hey, hey, he's got some problems. <laughs> he just seems like he doesn't want to be anywhere. Like, even no. when they interview him, he seems so disinterested. Yeah. He's, like, he's, I, he's, I think everybody is so excited to talk to him, and he seems like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's something we do. I don't know. Oh, even on the uh, Talking Sopranos, yeah. like, he's very... <laughs> like, why are you being such a... He's a curmudgeon. Ass. <laughs> he is a curmudgeon. He's a little yinta. <laughs> He's been looking, no, that's, 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 that's I, I, you know, as time went on, initially Steve Sheriff used to get on my nerves on that podcast, but as time went on, Steve Sheriff was my guy, and I was kind of like, Imperioli seems like he'd rather be doing anything else in the world else. than talking about the Sopranos. It was like, well, playing Zopa or something. 
<laughs> yeah, but like, 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 like he thinks he's so above it. Yeah, but no one would care. No one would care what he's got to say just for being Spider or just for being JoJo with the tires. <laughs> okay, or or being hey, a police officer. JoJo, hey. Yeah, or being a police officer in um, clockers. Yeah, you know, I got yeah. the primo shit. I got it. I got the primo shit. Yeah. Angie, tu- Angie Tucci's brother. Yeah. I can't say my favorite line, but I I want to <laughs> play the play the game. Go out to L.A. Let La Soda kiss you. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's Spike's boy. That's Spike's boy. But he probably didn't yeah. care about that. Yeah, man, we did a couple movies yeah. thirty years ago. It was. But uh, I was gonna say, Dream On. It's not on that list. The top forty HBO shows. This is a trap. Yeah, show. yeah. So can we talk? No about one her? talks about. Yes, no one talks about Dream On. I am Dream tired. On. Dream On started the whole thing. That and uh, and first and ten. Yes, and not necessarily the news. But but uh, it was a little different. Nah, but, not necessarily yeah. news. Yes, yes, sir. Not necessarily the news. But I mean, first and ten is not streaming. It makes no sense. I think it's just somebody. It's probably it's probably like a day last whole thing. Like who owns it and what what's going on with that. And then the OJ has Dream on. Is- no, but Dream on. Maybe, maybe I didn't think about that. Dream on though. It's I'm going to say this and then we can get into it a little more. So when we reference. The Office of the Wire or Sopranos or Curb or any of those shows, that's what Dream On. That's our Dream On. Yeah. 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 And it's kind of startling. Or a different world. Like, I want a different, I'm in the middle of a different world dance right now. He knew is just coming to the Kikaloku. Ah, yeah. It's like, I, I need to count the I mean, maid. <laughs> I fired the maid. <laughs> <laughs> much like much like Jim Halpert, much like Jim Halpert <laughs> oh, after him. <laughs> you know what though? I think you made the right choice. I'm, I'm gonna stay away from it. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna okay. I'm not gonna fire up the base uh, in the opposite direction there. I think he made the right choice by going with it. I mean, best one was Suzanne Taylor. That was the best yeah. uh yeah, that seen, was the best. He, that, he that, was, that deal. That he was at his height. He was he was at his he was he yeah. was he was yeah, he running was, on. He was, he was like Wiley Coyote running his off. coverage on that one. Yeah, brother, that was his best move ever, Suzanne Taylor. But yeah. but uh, it, that's why it was too good to be true. Like he was yeah. going to surpass everyone if they gave her some real, um, you know, some time. Actually, that girl he picked up uh, first when he had when, when he wore the sweater, the older girl, uh, the older the older student. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly because he played. I, I played the fool for you, uh, Miles J, yeah. on that episode. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yes. Uh, that one, yeah, yeah, and then but Whitley season of, season that season of Whitley was just it's it's a it's on another planet, yeah. Season four, season four Whitley, season three, late season three, but season four Whitley, it's just on she's on another she's on another stratosphere, and it's yeah. crazy. Best looking woman on tev- television, bar none, oh, at yeah. that at that at that moment in time. Oh yeah, uh, Ebony magazine. And, all that fully, fully in command of her character and her role. Oh yeah, wow. uh, outstanding. But anyway, that's our dream on. Those are our shows that are in our head that are constantly running. When something happens in our life, and we think about. Oh, I've seen this before. I was yeah. watching television. These are our show. These are our dream yeah. on shows. Yeah, the dream on is one of our dream on shows. Yeah, Brian Benben, man, he gets no respect, no love. No Martin Tupper, Martin Tupper, yeah. man. Started yeah, it all. Be here, and you go. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, if you ever watch him, you start smiling. He lived in that little place with the green door, and he worked at a publishing company with that crazy uh, receptionist, Tammy or Honey or Timmy. I don't know what her name was, but but uh, Brian Bibbin, man, he really started it all, and yeah. and it was just and and no one talks about that show. It's like it's kind of like the Larry Sanders show, but if you know it, you know it, and you're like, all right, all right, okay. On that list, Larry Sanders was like top was like five. Yeah. On, on that list, which I was like, okay, I'm fine with that. That's fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Because actually Larry Sanders was like a year or two after probably like they probably had a little overlap with Dream On. But uh, like when Dream On got like crazy. But but uh that great show about this single, this divorced guy living in New York and dating these women. And uh always which made it Made Seinfeld plausible. Yeah. 
it's a precursor to so much good stuff. It opens the door for almost anything. Yeah. And it, and it, get, it was good program information. Great program. HBO, like yeah. that's when they started to win awards. Cable Ace Awards, all these kind of things, man. Yeah. The Ace yeah. Awards. Yes, indeed. Man, it's Uncle not Collie. streaming anymore. <laughs> Uncle Collie Burnett was working for uh, Comcast or whatever it was called before Comcast. Uh, uh, were... uh, yeah, I can't remember what it was called before Comcast. Yeah. Uh, another choice. egregious uh, show left off of it. I just can't believe Honorash. Yeah, somebody mentioned that. I, I mean, obviously they hated Honorash. <laughs> I can't believe. I mean, you were talking about a cultural, like a flashpoint. Uh, in, in, I mean, I would think that's on the Mount Rushmore of uh, HBO shows, um, particularly because of its constant staying power, as opposed yeah. to Six Feet Under. I mean, they, they might be real serious auteurs and, and things of that nature. I don't think Deadwood was on that list. Yeah, it was on there. It. It's on there. Okay. It's on there. Uh, they had, you know, it was interesting, the ones, they put a sh- they put a brand new show on that list, and they didn't have on Yeah, I- incredible. <laughs> I, I, and I'm just going through it one more time to make sure before I say this, no, Entourage uh, was not on the list. Well, yeah, I, oh, I know, I know, Entourage wasn't on there, but uh, I'm looking for Sex in the City. No, it's there. It's real it's high. There. It's too high. No, 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 it, no. It's 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 uh, it's really oh, it's high. Number eight. Okay, I see it. I see yeah, it. I see yeah, it. yeah, it's top ten. Yeah, <laughs> Deadwood is number ten on there. You know, I I think Curb was at twelve or something. No, it's in the top ten. It's uh, Curb is number seven. Oh wow. Something yeah. was at twelve that I was like, "What? What's what's at twelve? Let me like see. twelve or thirteen? It's like, and they they make fun of twelve is six feet under. Thirteen is secession. That's what it was. And they were saying secession because they were like, ah, the rapping was a little much. Elton OG. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if that was written before season three though. I just, I, I you know, I don't know, man. Shout out to him for having eyes on here. You know what I mean? But like, oh yeah, they, that, well they they so they they do give a wink to, you know, the building blocks, the brand. Yeah, you know, you know, and every day that I access that app, I have the ability to go back and watch a majority of these shows, and I just yeah. don't do it. I'm watching yeah. things I watch a million times. So, so yeah, yeah. But but anyway, brother. Well, um, I. Look forward to. I, I thank you for your courage and uh, your your NFL picks, and <laughs> I look forward to uh, seeing how this goes. Yeah, uh, man, the big game. That means it's almost over. It's almost over, man. And we look to be fully in basketball. Seasonal affective long- disorder becomes very strong <laughs> after the big game is over. I know, man. It is. Uh, it's going to be painful. Yeah. We got USFL. It's not, it doesn't really work the same. <laughs> well, you know, our, our our good friend Randall Whitman. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't really work. I know. It doesn't really work the same. Right. <laughs> Birmingham <laughs> Stallions, right baby. Birmingham Stallions, baby. No, hey, you know, I, I love Randall's uh, 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 tweet or, or Instagram post this morning, whichever. Uh, you know, he, he's he's giving, us, uh, giving me some Andre 3000 vibes. Don't, don't. Don't ever say you can't have a good time in Birmingham. Hey. <laughs> right. Man. I appreciate it. Because if you hang with Randall, you're going to, hey, look. You oh, no, no, no. He, he's the one to be with. I, I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> but you can, you can have a good time in Birmingham without Randall, too, though. You go to the play in. It's a lot of, lot of love. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure right. you can. <laughs> I never want to know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm sure you can. I, I, again, I never want. <laughs> At, at any rate, sir. Uh, so the next time you see us, we will be talking about uh, Rosemary's Baby. Hey, we'll we'll keep it, you know. So if, if you're scared of horror movies, because I know some people are, you know, what I mean, uh, this this is one, you know, it's scary. I can't front, but uh, right. you know, we'll talk about it in a way that that's palatable for you. So you know, right, we will. Yeah. But until next time, uh, catch us on all those places that we can catch each other. Uh, and we'll see you guys the next time. We out.